It's a fact of life in every neighborhood. People move in and people move out. Although very few of them pack up and leave at two o'clock in the morning. But it wasn't the first time that Betty Applewhite had tried to leave in the middle of the night. It had happened once before. In Chicago. The same night one of her sons tried to break up with his girlfriend. Catherine Mayfair was not the kind of woman who liked to relive the past. But when her husband Adam left her, Catherine's life began to unravel. And the mistakes of her youth started to flash through her mind. She thought of Wayne Davis, the first man she married. And the first time, he had hit her. She thought of how sincerely he apologized. And how meaningless his apologies were. And how she finally decided to hit back. Something awful happened on Lakeview Drive last year. To understand why, you need to know that when Alma Hodge awoke that morning, she had no idea this would be the day she'd leave her husband. Certainly it began normally enough. She put away the groceries per his instructions. She hung his dry cleaning exactly as he had requested. She folded the towels just as he had taught her. It had been two months since Mike Delfino had awakened from his coma, and the memories he had lost were finally starting to return. He could now recall the first time he saw Wisteria Lane, and the first time he met his new neighbors. And the first time he heard Susan Meyer laugh. <laughs> it was supposed to be an ordinary day for Carolyn Bigsby. She had planned to bake her husband a strudel, give her dog a bath, and water her African violets. Yes, Carolyn had planned to do all sorts of things she thought mattered. But earlier that day, a woman who wasn't her friend told Carolyn something she wasn't supposed to hear. From that moment on, Carolyn felt nothing really mattered anymore. A young woman named Melanie Foster. Are you kidding? You cannot dump me. I do not get dumped. If anyone is getting dumped here, it's you. However okay. you want to spin it is fine, okay? I just want out. I just want out. Okay, Matthew. Maybe I am a bitch sometimes, but there are advantages to dating someone like me. And I know that you know what I'm talking about. Melanie, you... my mother is in the other room. Are you crazy? Clearly, we can't have a serious discussion here. Why don't you meet me at the lumberyard at 9? Melanie, huh. it's over. Well, even more reason for you to show up. No one can say goodbye better than I do. It had been 14 years since Catherine Mayfair had been in a police station. But she remembered the conversation like it was yesterday. Would you like some water, honey? Thanks. So, I take it this isn't the first time your husband's hit you? He keeps promising to stop, but it just gets worse. And I'm afraid he's going to do something to my daughter. Please, you have to help me. Have you reported it before? Once, but when I called, they said they couldn't find the paperwork. Oh, your husband's Wayne Davis, one of our patrolmen. Want some advice? Wayne's got a lot of friends around here. 
course you can press charges, but I can't guarantee that one of his friends won't lose the paperwork again. Then what should I do? Get as much money as you can lay your hands on, grab your daughter, and run. And so she did. To a place she thought would be safe. It was just before noon. Mama loves her baby. Does the baby love Mama? Mama! When something inside Alma broke, and she decided it was time to fly away. Of course, she knew better than to say this to her husband. He thought Alma was happy. 